Switzerland in up on the mountain top. Gonna be taking the train up to John Jacques, which is considered the highest, the top of Europe, one of the highest points in Europe. It's uh, the highest train station in Europe. It goes straight up one of these mountains where there'll actually be snow. And I'm at the the halfway stop here but I thought I'd do a quick video and talk about a, a topic that I think is something that maybe is a good formula for success something I've used in the past and sort of a guaranteed way uh, to be successful so I've talked about a few times this idea of basically like you know of being extremely prolific you know a lot of people always ask me about about how to like guarantee that they're going to be successful at something or they don't know how to succeed or I get so many frustrated questions asking about how to how to make it how to become successful right and and so many doubts that, that people have about this uh, you know I, t I talk about this idea of trusting the process you can get a trust the process t-shirt <laughs> here if you want uh, it's something that I use to remind me it's so weird I wonder what that noise is it's like Sounds like rattles. Probably should not be standing somewhere where it sounds like rattles. <laughs> I have no idea if that's, but that didn't sound like a cricket. I don't know. Anyway, so what was I gonna say? Okay, so yeah, so trusting the process is uh, is important. You know, you can check out the playlist on the trust the process videos here. But what I want to talk about today is sort of a way, uh, in one of the videos on trusting the process, I talked about, if I can remember what the video is, I talked about like how to know that the process is correct so that you can actually trust the process. And that's what I want to talk about today is one sort of guaranteed way to know that the process is correct, which is a really good way to be successful, just a good way to gauge what you need to do in order to achieve success in whatever you're doing, which is to basically think of what the, the best person you know at something, uh, what they do for their routine, and think of how you could do more or do better, right? So if you think about it, right, let's say that you're trying to be a real good software developer, a real good coder, programmer, right, as a lot of you on this channel. So who do you know that's the best at that profession, at, at software development, at, at coding, and what do they do? And so how can you do more than what they do? How can you do more so that you'll be better, right? Eventually, if you do more than what they do, if you practice harder, if you can do twice as much as what they do, eventually you will will reach their level and eventually you'll have to surpass them. That's just how it works. You gotta, if you think about that, those rattling are still, <laughs> it's still rattling me. But anyway, so this applies to a lot of different things, right? I, I think uh, I was talking to a friend of mine, I can't remember if I told this story before, but he was talking about how his, his son was on the uh, the baseball team, the uh, the kid baseball, what's it called, uh, uh, little league, right? And how the the coach never played him, right? And so I told him, I said, you know, look, here, here's the thing, right? You can complain and you can whine and bitch about it, but the real simple solution to this problem is, you know, what what's the best kid on the team, right? The best pitcher, how much does he practice, right? Practice two to three times as much as that kid, and eventually, that's that's you're you're going to reach his level or surpass his level, and uh, you're, you're going to have to be successful. So again, this is one of those ways that's guaranteed to be successful, right? Is, is if you can just figure out who's the best that you know and doing something, and then you do more than what they're doing. You surpass them, uh, you practice harder, you train harder, right? So if you want to be a better runner, right? Let's say, you know, you could take this to athletics, to sports. If you want to be a better runner, find out 
who's who's running like the best runner that you know and find out what their training schedule is and then do more <laughs> right now there's there's a diminishing return right you can overtrain you can do too much uh, effort and, and not see see the benefit but can you train harder can you do better right if you want to build a physique find someone with the best physique that you know figure out what they're doing and do more do better than than what they're doing now it's not gonna be instantaneous success but eventually it will have to lead to at least the results they're getting or better results you know aside from some of the you know genetic factors and whatnot but you know let, let's let's not nitpick things it's essentially the strategy is going to work for you for the most part if you follow it so just something to think about right if you're if you're struggling if you're like oh, I don't know how to how to be successful at, at a certain thing if you don't know how to accomplish what you want to accomplish goal wise go find someone who's already doing it go find someone who's already the best that you know and, and figure out what would it take to beat that person that's really what what I would say is you know, what would it take for you to beat that person and if you figure that out and you start doing that then you're gonna almost guarantee it's it's one of those things where you can pretty much guarantee trust the process because you're pretty much going to guarantee success in that case. Let's take a look at that train coming in. But there you have it. I think that's all I got to say about that. All right, if you like this video, make sure you click that subscribe button below and make sure you click the bell so you don't miss any of the videos that I'm doing in these kind of trying to figure out the most scenic locations here as I'm traveling Europe. I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Trust the process.